Wait, hold on. That's a that's a pretty decent pancake with a 12 footer. Let's see. Look, there's a bunch of bees in it. Yeah, I know. Ouch. Let's see. Dude, there's not a whole lot of extra horn of, of extra room on the top that this happens. So Lorenzo, this is a 12 foot cast net. Yes. And a lot of times when people throw, I gotta back up in order to get this whole thing on video. And when usually when people throw a 12 foot net, they're off the bow of a boat. Yeah. And so they're higher up, which gives the net more time to open. Can you please share with our audience what on earth you just did? How on earth that a 12 year old can throw a 12 foot net, pancake it from the ground. And you shouldn't drag it across the concrete because it will, it will fray. Oh, you want to see how big it is? Got it. Let's see how big this net is, guys. Look at this. Look at the size of this net that Lorenzo is going to throw right now. He's going to show everybody how he just threw a 12 foot net. And there's twice weeds. The twice the size of Lorenzo. All right, guys. Lorenzo, show them how you did it, bud. First is first. First, well, if you're throwing this big of a net, you should know how to lift up the rope. You know. Well, if you're throwing a net this big, you should know how to hold rope. Now you're holding in your right hand. You're a righty. Yeah, I'm a righty. So okay. So everything is gonna be in your right hand, and you. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so what you do first is. So you're taking loops in your right hand. Yeah. Then you grab the horn. And then you grab the. Like, I don't know. That About two feet, two, two feet. and a feet, two and a half feet yeah. of net. And then. And you're going to loop it around. What? That's. So my hands aren't that big, so I can't loop it three times. Okay. So, so you're just looping it twice. I'm just looping it twice. And then your final, the final place where you're looping it. All right. So hold on. T take this out one more second. So the first, the first loop, the first place where you're grabbing the net is about, oh, about three feet from the horn. Then he's another, a whole nother section. It's like. That he's grabbing in the same hand. It should be comfortable. And it's right about waist, yeah. almost at waist height from the, oh. from the ground. That's where he's grabbing the rest of this net. Around, right around waist high. The net, the weights are on the ground. This net, by the way, guys, is, is very heavy. It's a fast sinking net. It's a fast sinking net. It's a very heavy net. So, uh, you know, Lorenzo's arms are growing. <laughs> but it's still heavy. All right, now what's the next step, buddy? Um, make sure there's no tangles. Make sure there's no tangles. All right. So you, how do you do that? You just kind of. Well, you can you can just put it over your knee and just like sift through it. Sift through it. Just make sure that there's no place where the weights are over the spreaders. So it looks good right now. Looks good. So, okay. Okay. So you have your net, and this is the most important part. Okay. So you grab it. You grab this is what? called the triple load method, okay? Triple load method. That sounds very official. So, so you're going to have, I don't know, a fourth? No. A third. A third. Yep. You're One third of the a net. A third of the net. And you're going to put it over your shoulder. All right, hold on. Stop, okay, stop, 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 stop. This is hard. This is a little, all right, hold on a sec. So triple load method, we're splitting the weights up into three different groups right now. So this is This weird. is the first one. Yeah, this so is a little this, weird. This is going to be weird, but you'll get used to All it. All right, nice and slow. So this is your right hand. This is my right hand. So I'm going to put it under my under right his, hand. Under his hand. And then over my shoulder. Over his shoulder. Now, these weights are just going to rest just like right that. here. So that a third of the weight of the net yeah. is l resting on his shoulder. Now, you're not you're no longer holding this weight. No, so it's taking some weight off of it. It's taking so weight off. So that's that's one way okay, so that he's able have, to hold it. You're gonna have two. You're gonna have two lead lines. Okay. And look at that. It's it's already pretty much open. It's already open. The net's already it's open. Already All right, open. hold on a sec before you go any further. So you're gonna let, hold on before you go any further. Before you go any further, let's look at. So now you got one third over your shoulder. There's two lead lines hanging down. Okay. Now what he's gonna do take is he's gonna the, take, take a weight line that's closest to you. That's closest to you. And then you're gonna take the weight and I put it in my mouth. He puts it in his mouth. Yeah. All right, so now when that goes in his mouth, this net is already a third of the way open. Yeah. All he has to do is like rotate a little bit. It's already yeah. a third of the way open. All right, now what, buddy? And then I just grab another third of it. Another third is gonna be wrapped around his leg another third of the weights. 
So there's two thirds down here, and he's got to separate these two thirds out. Just like that. One third is wrapped around his leg right here. Okay, now the so same got, red line that I'm grabbing in my mouth, yep. I'm going to hold with my pinky. Okay, really? I'm, hold on a sec. Let me hold that for you. Why do you hold this in your pinky? What, do you, what does that This do? is the last thing that you're going to let go of. That's the last thing you're going to let go of. So yeah. when you tr rotate and you throw, this pinky is holding on to this just for a, a split second longer. And, this is gonna and be that the helps last it open. Yes. Okay, here. Put that back in. Thank you. All right, you got it. Okay. All right, so now, now he's got his little, his little lead line. With my four fingers here, I'm going to grab the other... Loop. With his four fingers, he grabs the other loop. And now, a third of the weights are over his shoulder. He's got a lead line in his mouth. A third of the weights are in his left hand in, in the with the pinky finger here. Then the other third, the last third, is just hanging right here. So now, these are the this is the three part method, the three the threefold method. All right, now you got to get some rotation, don't you, buddy? Yeah, I have to get some rotation to get the. The leads off of the floor. Yep, the leads have got to get off the floor. Yeah. And you got to get your, you got to get rotation going. Mm -hmm. So, because it's not all arm strength. And that's one thing that people are intimidated. Because they think they have to be really strong upper body strength. It's, it's momentum. It's more, more, more momentum and more technique than it is muscular strength. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what, bud? So, I'm going to spin once. I used to, I used to spin like five times. Yep. Because I was a lot smaller. But now that I'm a little bit bigger, I'm going to spin just once and it'll open. And let it go. And, just, and I'm just going to let it go. Alright, so he's going to rotate once, get a little rotation going, mm -hmm. and then he's going to make it happen. Ready? Yep. Spinning once. Now he lets it go. Dude. Yeah. That is a pancake. I kind of slipped off the bow of the boat right there. Yeah, he slipped off the bow I of the slipped. boat. Lorenzo would have went for a swim right there. Yeah, but it would have been a pancake and I would have gotten all the bait I needed. Yeah, this this cast would have gotten all the bait he needed. No, if you wanted But to he would have went swimming and we would have had to pull him off, off the boat. But we would have got all the bait. But we would have got all the bait we needed, guys. That's fantastic. Now, is there anything else that we need to share with our audience? Um, I guess when you're casting. Yeah. When, you, when you're casting it. So, so remember again with the, with the lead line that you're holding with your pinky. I'm gonna get to that real quick. Okay, I'm hurry get up. To it. Get to it real quick, guys. He's gonna give you a couple techniques for throwing his big 12 foot net. We don't use this net there very often, guys. We don't. We only have a 16 foot. Carolina we got skiff, a little Carolina skiff. And the bow is kind of pathetic on it. We have a little tiny bow. Very very little room oh, to there's rotate. A bee in there. There's a bee in there. No. He got out. Okay. A mad, no. There's a mad bee out there. All right, buddy. What, what do you want to show everybody? So when you're when you're gonna throw, yeah. The, when you're holding at the pinky, yeah. That's gonna be the last thing you're gonna let go of. So. Oh, you want me to change angles so I can see that better? Yeah. So. I'm gonna come over here so I can see that a little floor, bit better. Yeah. It's probably gonna end up like on the left side of me. Yeah. So and then so to make it a perfect pancake. Yeah. You're just gonna hold on to it. Okay. So. So, guy, Lorenzo, why don't I film this one in slow mo so they can see you release like, it? Go, go over there more, though. Over here more? Yeah. All right, hold on. I'm gonna film in slow mo. Hold on a sec. All right, not bad at all, buddy. That's another good pancake. Um, there's probably more bees in there, but now here's what I want to do when you're retrieving your net, uh, it, you know, first of all, you gotta, you gotta make sure that your net sinks to where the bait is, right? So if the bait's on top, then you probably don't need to wait that long. No, you can probably two seconds. two seconds and start roping that thing in, uh, cause you don't want it to get hung up on any rocks or anything on the bottom. But if the bait's down midway in the water column, you got to make sure that you wait long enough for the, the net to sink. Uh, so you just got to beware. One thing we want to show you guys, Lorenzo's going to show you how, how long does it take to load the net and cast when you're serious about your business. All right. So now we're just going to get this grass stuff out of, out of the net. And then we're going to time Lorenzo to see how long does it take for Lorenzo to load and cast a pancake with his 12 foot net. All right. Lorenzo is going to now show everybody how long does it take him to load and throw his 12 foot net. Lorenzo, are you ready? Yes. Set, go. Okay. So first 
Dad. He's Coil it. folding up his rope. Okay. He grabs the horn. It has been 10 seconds. Already? Already. Okay. Now this part's the easiest yep, part. That's the easy part. Okay. Okay. It has been 20 seconds. Watch out. I'm, I'm watching out. There's been 30 seconds. Dude, it was 38 seconds. So, 38 seconds it took for Lorenzo. I think he can do better. Well, here's the deal. That was rushed. You don't have to rush that much and when you're out there, you're throwing a 12 foot net. Uh, it's not like you're running down the beach with 12 foot yeah, nets, right? So this like is, you're, you're not chasing mullet. You're, this is, the way you're going to throw the net, it's like you're chumming for a bunch of poachers and there's a big ball of poachers all chummed up right in front of your boat. Correct. And you, and you see them and then that's when you throw the net. Correct. And that's what you have to do. All right. So now Lorenzo got a pancake. It's, you know, it's not completely open. Hold on a second. Really? Planes always ruin everything. Okay. So. Guys, um, our net here is probably 70% open. You want to see 100% open? Well, I want to see 100% open. We'll show it to you in slow-mo. But, guys, 70% open is by far enough to catch all the bait you need. If there's a school of bait here, pilchers, ballyhoo, threadfin herring, uh, whatever bait fish you're chasing, um, it took him 38 seconds to load and throw a net and open it 70%. So, Lorenzo, good job. Like, subscribe, and share. And make, guys, make sure you click the bell for notifications because we're going to go out and slay fish. And enjoy this pancake that I throw for the outro. For the outro, Lorenzo's going to throw a pancake right, right now.